A new tech discovery that can make almost anything in our lives better, from batteries to drugs, may sound like science fiction, but in one corner of Oxfordshire, it's becoming fact. Oxford University scientists working on quantum computing say it is capable of improving our lives in ways we just can't imagine. Sophie Law has more. Ever wondered what goes on behind the doors you might walk past every day in Oxford? Well, at Oxford University's Department of Physics, those developing quantum computing have told me it represents a world of infinite possibility that's just a few years away. Simon Benjamin is Professor of Quantum Technologies in the Materials Department. He says it's the weird, interesting bit of physics. It's the bit where things get spooky and really strange stuff happens that defies everyday intuition. What if we tried to use it inside a computer instead of the conventional processor where we know the equations, we could put them on the board, but our, today's computers just can't solve those equations, they're too hard. But a quantum computer could, and so we hope for a, a golden age of discovery once these machines are online, being able to basically solve equations that have puzzled us for a century. While you won't have a quantum computer on your phone anytime soon, you will be using your phone to access services that use them, which will make your life a lot better. As well as working in the department, Chris Balance has launched a spin-off company, Ox Ionics, based in Kidlington, which is already taking orders. This is my dream job, right? I couldn't imagine doing anything more fun than building systems like this. We know this is the next computing revolution, and we know we're building computers that are more powerful and can possibly be built out of any other physical system. Well, the best advanced tech is indistinguishable from magic, right? And that's how quantum computing is going to be. In the same way as right now, you'll benefit when you use a weather forecast app. When you look at the news app, you'll benefit from AI making everything just a little bit better via supercomputers distributed out in the cloud. That's what we'll see with quantum. You'll just get better drugs. You'll get you know, better batteries. All of these will just happen better. Here is the inside of a quantum computer. Now, this could be the end of our binary system of ones and zeros, because if you can believe it, the quantum system can be both at the same time. How? By using light. Here, you can see individual atoms moving information via light, which is then moved on. In some ways, it's too soon to know exactly how this tech will transform our lives. Some will definitely be able to fix their mistakes as they go along. But there are limits, as Natalia Ares, Associate Professor at Oxford University's Engineering Science Department, explains. We are facing some uh, challenges in how to build these computers. Now you have to uh, control this entire circuit with many, many gates and many configurations that are possible. How do you do that? It's a very difficult engineering problem. Nonetheless, Simon Benjamin says he's optimistic about the next decade. There's a whole series of milestones, and every few months, someone in the world achieves another one of these milestones. And so we are getting there, and we can measure our progress. In February next year, Chris and his team will be delivering a quantum computer to the UK National Quantum Computing Centre, just down the road at Harwell. So whether it's building better batteries, drug discovery, or a problem that doesn't even exist yet, quantum computing is set to be a game changer. Sophie Law, BBC South Today.